delegates from across the world gathered under one roof in Nairobi, Kenya for one of the largest inclusive development gatherings in the region. Sankalp Forum launched its latest edition in Africa with the ambition of creating an ecosystem of social enterprises in the continent and establishing a South-South corridor to promote greater learning and partnerships between developing countries. Competition for the prestigious Sankalp Africa Award was stiff for enterprises as they had to be recognized as the most innovative, dynamic and sustainable social enterprises in Africa. Over 100 enterprises from across 12 countries and six high-impact sectors of Africa wheeled for recognition at the Sankalp Africa Summit. I also think that the main benefit of Sankalp to social entrepreneurs on the ground, having that mix of ideas and collaboration, that kind of cross-pollination to make things happen. 11 investment funds with an average fund size of USD 30 million to 50 million participated in the Sankalp Awards screening process to evaluate the 100 plus applications. 12 enterprises were selected as finalists. Being nominated for the, as a Sankalp finalist, finalist it's uh, a little serendipitous in the sense that our journey was the beginning. It started with a pledge that we would be committed to a health solution at the bottom of the pyramid. And obviously, uh, my understanding of the Sankalp means a pledge to something to a problem, to a sustained problem. And so, certainly, I am a fundamental believer of the philosophy. Behind closed doors, they pitched their business models and addressed rigorous questions of jury members. Later, in front of the entire summit audience, the finalist enterprises took pitching to another level with music and dance moves to entertain and engross the audience. And then came the most significant part of this summit, the Sankalp Africa Awards Night. Finally, the wait was over and the eminent team of jury members announced the most deserving and impactful social enterprise as the grand prize winner, followed by two runners-up, one special recognition and one People's Choice Award. On day two of the summit, in-depth discussions highlighted the optimism focused on the Africa continent but seriously cautioned unbridled growth and enthusiasm. Given obstacles such as political instability, violence and corruption across much of the continent. While SMEs are contributing to this optimism as they grow quickly across the continent, the social enterprise space in Africa is in a very nascent stage. To support this growing number of impact SMEs, the summit included startup hacks and mentoring clinics. Successful pioneer entrepreneurs shared their stories, providing insight and demonstrating the opportunity for persistent and patient enterprises. Special satellite events before and after the summit made Nairobi a go-to destination for inclusive development practitioners from around the world. African countries and India may have vastly different local cultures and contexts, but they face similar development challenges. To showcase this, Sankal brought 12 innovations that are all in various stages of expansion into, within or outside Africa. You're really opening up a network for us um, globally to Fortune 500s and big organizations. And so that network that you've opened us to has been really, really, really helpful. So thanks, Sankal. The Sankal Africa Summit propelled a wave to bring inclusive development in Africa to another level. And it promises to come back next year with bigger and better ways of creating impact, facilitating knowledge and exchange, and building a local and global footprint.